Wow. I have to admit, it's, it's not exactly us. Just a little right here. Dad, are you sure this guy knows what he's doing? Clark Sosnick helped Jack win five elections. I'm sure he knows more about this stuff than we do. If you ask me, I think he's trying to turn you into a Luther. Is there a problem? Yeah, I was just wondering if you've ever actually met the Kents. You see, the reason somebody is going to vote for Mr. Kent is because they relate to him. And who is going to believe that he supports local farmers when he looks like some big business blowhard, no offense, Mr. Kent, who wants to buy them out? Oh, well, that's called uh, bridging the demo gap, dear. Oh. And does bridging that gap also include misquoting your candidate? Wait a minute. It says Jonathan Kent is quoted as saying it is possible to serve corporate interest and maintain the public welfare. I never said that. I did. You did? Yes. Look, this whole John Boy thing, don't get me wrong, you're very good at it. You may win over the cow pokes, but there's a healthy pool of voters out there that are more familiar with bente lattes and they're with digging post holes. What I really need here is somebody who cares about what I believe in more than they care about winning a race. I'm sorry, but you gotta go, Sosnick. You're fired. Pack it up, guys. Not that that didn't totally rock, Mr. Kent, but I have no idea how you're going to find a replacement so quickly. I do. Oh, me? Um, what do I know about being a campaign manager? What do I know about being a state senator? Great. I'll get it. I moved the rally to next week so Mr. Kent can recover. Or not. Dad, what are you doing? I can't let him stop me. I will tell them the rally's a go again. Lois! Don't sweat it, Smallville. Better late than never. <laughs> <laughs> 